Yes, Nepal. You can have this one. Uh, you like green or red? Red, red, red? Oh, I'm happy to be back. Really? Yes. In this video, we're going to be exploring Kathmandu. We're going to be eating some delicious local cuisines. I'm so happy to be back. Thank you. And we're going to show you why it's so easy to love Nepal. We are so happy to be back. Just five short months ago, we arrived in Nepal for the very, very first time. We got to explore Kathmandu, eat some delicious street food, and we got to take a flight to see Everest for the first time. We also got to see the beautiful lakeside city of Pokhara, and we got to celebrate the beautiful festival of Tihar. I can't believe how much we had fallen in love with this magical place with its enchanting atmosphere and the most kind, warm, welcoming locals. There is no doubt in my mind that we would return and now we finally have just the vibe and the atmosphere of just walking on the streets of Nepal. It is bringing back so many good memories. How much? Two fifty for one. It's a lot. Is that a good price? I don't know. It seems like a lot. The Nepalis will have to let us know if that's a good price or if we're paying too much. You can see here how he's cutting it up right now. So these are super, super fresh. And then he just puts the straw in. Thank you so much. Oh, it's good. Very good. Thank you. It's sweet. Yes. Please let us know in the comments what coconut is in Nepalese. Have a good day. Danyabad. Bye bye! <laughs> Thank you! First day in Nepal, let's go! I can't believe how heavy this is. I mean, in comparison to my face, it was delicious. Thank you! Oh, it's dusty. What a way to come back to Kathmandu. Hello! Good, how are you? Nice to see you. Do you remember me? Yes, I, I remember. I remember. <laughs> I remember like, one guy? Yes, you remember him? I'm happy to be back. Really? Yes, thank you for remembering me. Come. Yes, we will, I will come to your shop soon. Okay. <laughs> I no just problem. want to make a video. What's yes, your name? My name is Jabit. Jabit. Nice to meet you. What's I'm Chef. Yes. Oh, if you have time, then you come my shop. Most welcome. Sure. Okay. Uh, we are from South Africa. Okay. See you again. See you again. Okay. okay. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Wow, what? a way to be welcome back. I can't believe how many people are remembering us just walking on the street. Um, no, it's okay, thank you. It's a very good test board. No, I don't need one. Thank you so much. Where are you from? South Africa. Uh, yes, nice to meet you too, thank you. We had just spent an incredible month in India and we took a short three-hour flight from Mumbai to Kathmandu. Nepal is completely different from India. There are so many other influences, like especially the Tibetan influence and the Chinese influence, and even the people are different. For you, beautiful Julie. Oh, thank you so much. Don't worry, I like you. Okay, very good. I won't forget. Okay. <laughs> I'm so happy to be back. Oh, I just love the little alleyways and everybody just moving through them. There is a very, very special reason why we've come back to Nepal. You're going to have to wait until the end of the video to find out what that is. But there are three other people who are joining us on this adventure. You're going to have to guess in the comments who that might be. You might have seen one person before. Sunday, nice to meet you. Hello. 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 What do you like? Give me the I'm, I'm okay. Pizza? Yeah. You want a picture? I'm, this one? You like this one? Hey, Red one. Oh, no, no. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, We've four, made some five, friends. six, seven. You like green or red? Red. 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 He knows exactly what he wants. Okay, come this way. Come, come. You want juice? This juice? Okay. 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 Well, they want everything. No. No, no, no. Okay, we're just gonna get some juice. What's your name? My name is Jitendra Hiswal. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Sandeep Taman. Nice to meet you. How old are you? Yeah. How old? Eight? No. Oh, okay. No age. Hello. Hello. Thank you so much. 
so I'm much done your bike. Wow, I'm so happy about this. Yeah. Okay, are you ready? Okay, wow. Yeah, thank you. Pleasure. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for making our day. Thank you. Pleasure. Okay, bye have bye. a good day. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 They were so sweet and they're so, so friendly. Cute. And they're just roaming the streets. So I don't know whose kids they are, but I hope it's okay that we got them juice. I want some masala tea. Masala tea? Yes. Bang your eye. Go straight. Go straight. Don't you? Okay, thank you. I kind of feel like it's busier than last time. And right now it's perfect trekking season time. So lots of people are coming here to do some trekking. We didn't actually notice that last time, so many of the shops actually have a Everest Himalayan name. Like so many shops are named Sagamatha, so many shops are named Everest Himalayan. Everything's got like a cute Everest theme. Hey, Doggo. Namaste, Doggo. Oh. Namaste. Uh, where can I find some masala tea? Masala tea. Down this way? Okay, at the end. Okay, thank your you so much. Your dog is so cute. Your dog? your dog? Oh, he's so cute. What's his name? What's yeah. his name? Sherry. 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 Oh. Mother, Mother and daughter. daughter. Thank you so much. Danyabad. Namaste. I honestly miss these vibes and this energy so much. Keep reminding myself like how amazing Nepali people are. They're just so kind. They always welcome us back. So many people have remembered us, which is unbelievable. Namaste. Can I get some masala tea? Masala tea? Masala tea? Masala tea? Ah, they have over here. It's a bit dusty in the air, so some masala tea would be perfect. What are you drinking here? It's chai? Black tea. Black tea. Oh, okay. It's good? So we have the busy road right here, but we've just come down this tiny little corner. There's a small door and that's where we're going to get some masala tea. A little bit. <laughs> a little bit of sugar. It's actually so awesome to get it made right in front of you. You can see everything that's happening. It's kind of mesmerizing how he puts a little bit of tea, a little bit of milk, and it creates this perfect blend of masala, perfect blend of milk, and a little bit of sugar. Look how tiny this little shop is. <laughs> It's hot. hot. He's oh. going to carry it for us because it's so hot. He can handle it. We cannot. <laughs> Danya bad. Oh, it is hot. Masala chai. <laughs> it's good. This is exactly what I felt like and it is absolutely delicious. It's boiling hot, but it's perfect. We've also made some friends here while we're sitting around. <laughs> Do you want to sit here? You want to be in the video? It feels special to be back here because it doesn't feel like we're a first time tourist and we're just walking around the streets seeing everything for the first time. This time we want to do more local experiences, even something like this, having some masala tea at a little side corner cafe. I also feel like there's so much that we didn't appreciate in Kathmandu. I feel like we were just first timers. And now that we've come back, we just appreciate things so much more. We appreciate the people, the kindness, and I think we will come back here many, many, many more times. How was your masala chai? Oh, it's absolutely delicious. Danya Bad, thank you. Uh, how much? 20. 20. Oh, wow. Here is 30. Uh, you can have it. No, no, you can have it. You can have this one. Yes, you can have it. <laughs> thank you so much. You can keep it. Thank you so much. Danya Bad. It was only 20 rupees. I gave him 30, which is nothing. He just wouldn't take it. It just shows how kind and warm-hearted the Nepali so people sweet. are. It just warms your heart like the tea does. Now I've got energy, now the tea is kicking in. Let's get back on the street. Namaste, doggo. He looks a little scruffy. But so do you. I look scruffy as well. So I'm actually gonna go and try and get a haircut. Because we've come to Nepal for a special reason, I'm gonna need a haircut. Let's see what you look like. Ooh, scruffy. Look at this fuzz. Same, same. Okay, we've just come down one of the streets that we've been to previously when we were here in Kathmandu and I actually came to this shop here to get a haircut. So I'm going to try and go there and see if he remembers us. Namaste. Thank, Thank you. You. <laughs> you remember us? Yes, yes. yes. Remember. I remember you. Yes. Oh, you're a son. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Hello. you're bigger. <laughs> they got bigger. Yeah. I like your hair. I didn't even need to tell them what haircut I'm getting because they remembered. Are you from Nepal? Yeah, Nepal. Ah, you're from, from Kathmandu. 
Okay. okay. What food can we eat? What's your favorite food? Banana. Banana? I think my favorite is motuk. This is our little translator. Your English is so good. Thank you. What's your favorite food? Momo. Momo. Yes, I love the Momo. Do you also want to be a hairdresser? Yes. You do? Ah, I like your hairstyle. You are stopping my hair. You cut your hair? Today? No, yesterday. Yesterday. It looks very good. So stylish. So you remember us from last time. He's watching our channel. I like that we have a little translator today. Yeah, he's so good. <laughs> Your English is so good. Did you go up Everest? Do you want to? You don't want to? Why not? It's cold. It's very, very cold. How do we say food is delicious? What is delicious in Nepali? Masu? Masubat. 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 So Momo is Masubat. Yes? <laughs> He's is like, that correct? No? Masubat. I think we gotta work on our pronunciation. Yes. He is also no. our translator. Yeah. He's our translator. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. Thank you. How do I say how much in, in Nepali? Nepali? Yes. Koti bayo. Koti bayo. Koti bayo. In Hindi is ketna. Ketna bayo. Ketna hua. Kitna hua. Kitna hua. Is how much? Yes. Okay. Ah, it's similar I'm to Hindi. India. You from India? Yeah. We're getting a haircut, Nepali yeah. lesson at the same time, <laughs> and a massage, everything. He's getting a full massage. <laughs> Nepali massage. Ah, Nepali massage. Does he feel stressed? <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, wow, that is perfect. Yeah, looking snazzy. Is that good? Yes. Perfect. We are the same. <laughs> so what is the price for a haircut? He's deciding. <laughs> I don't know. Would you like me to try? Okay, no problem. Uh, 800, okay? 800? Yeah. That's a lot. Is that Nepali price? Nepali price. Or foreigner price? Uh, <laughs> for haircut, for massage, for Nepali lesson. <laughs> thousand, thousand rupees. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Nice Bye-bye. Have a nice day. Thank you. We have just seen this amazing Tibetan restaurant that looks so inviting. We have worked up an appetite. We've now come to a place called Spice or Spicy. You get the flavors of Tibet and Nepal here. Can we have the mo moktuk? It's a soup momo. Soup momo. Soup momo. How do you Shafale. Shafale. Okay, yes, one of that. Can we have some honey lemon two ginger? Two of them. Uh, two, please. We got a, he said it was a shafale. Basically looks like a empanada or like a Tibetan meat pie. And we ordered moktuk, which is the regular momos we had previously when we were in Nepal, but now they're soup momos, like soup dumplings. Thank you so much. It's a little bit cold here in Kathmandu, so this will warm us up. A lot of the people that do trekking have to have the honey, lemon and ginger because it's good for the throat, especially when you're breathing in cold air. Look how much honey is in here and you can actually see the chunks of ginger here's to be back in Kathmandu thank you oh, namaste. 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 namaste namaste you're the chef yeah you make the best food so it's steamed first in here and then we take it here oh okay and what is inside chicken meat it's like a Tibetan pie. Yeah, Tibetan meat pie. So you make the noodles by hand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, everything is handmade. Yeah, everything is handmade. That is the unbelievable. Is handmade. Yes. Different shapes we have. This is one bit. Yes. For the chicken, we have round one, and both we have some kind of cuisine. The garlic and then with the top. Oh, and bok choy. Salt, pepper, and Szechuan spices. He's got the experience, so he doesn't need to measure it. He doesn't need to measure anything. So is this good to eat for trekking? It's got garlic in it. Yes. As you can see here, he's making the dough from scratch, and he's putting it into the noodle making machine. They're coming out super flat. He's even pressing it down, then he puts it back into the machine to churn it through again. 
all the dishes are made in here completely fresh here's all the spices and once it's made and served it goes through the store and out to the guests what we yeah. do is we have done a fusion of necklace and tibetan cuisine together yes. so we could create a new one like the nepali people are a fusion yeah exactly yes. from india from china from yes. tibet from Bhutan. i love it everything everything's mixed in the same way yes. you want our channel yes yeah, sure. oh thank, thank you, thank you. So Yes, five months ago we came. Thank you for showing me. It looks delicious. Thank you so much. Wow. Oh my gosh. Wow. Look at the food that has just arrived. I can't believe that they invited us into their kitchen so we can have a little closer look at what they get up to behind the scenes. You kind of order something, it tastes amazing, you never ever think about the process. How much precision, how much care and how much love and passion they have for making food. The momo soup is kind of like soup dumplings but you've got this rich hearty soup with some veggies with some bok choy and a little bit of spice each dumpling whether it's veg or buff or chicken it all looks different so that they don't get confused and also we know which one is which and then you've got these tibetan meat pies which is stuffed with chicken and veggies with a little sauce in the middle i'm gonna have to start with the broth first is so delicious. It's definitely something I would have on a freezing cold day or if I'm sick or have like a heavy cough and I feel like this would cure me instantly. And now the dumpling. Mm, I loved Momo's already. Now that I've had it with the soup and the veggies, it is dynamite. I think I waited five months just to eat this. Now it's time for me to try this Tibetan meat pie. It's kind of like a steam slash fried pie of delicious goodness. So it's got a crunchy outer shell and then you've got all the chicken on the inside. I think I need to dip it in the sauce. You gotta dip. It is nothing like a pie that we would normally have. It's a lot harder and crunchier, but the chicken on the inside has been made so fresh. That was so good. What a perfect first day back. Please let us know what else we can try in the next video. If you're here in Nepal, we recommend you try some local Nepali and Tibetan food, and we recommend coming to Spies. We'll put the link to this place in the description below. So I don't know if you've noticed, but we've been wearing not really the most fashionable shoes while we're walking around Kathmandu, as you can see. <laughs> the main reason why we came back here to Kathmandu is we came to do some trekking. We are doing the Everest Base Camp Trek and I am so nervous because we've got zero training. We spent the last month in India so we've not done any walking, we haven't gotten our shoes up until like yesterday. So we will be spending some time in Kathmandu before we go on this big adventure. We'll be documenting our entire journey with three new members coming along with us. This is probably going to be the best adventure we have ever done. I am super nervous but so excited at the same time. If you have done the Everest Base Camp or if you're thinking about doing it, subscribe so you don't miss this adventure. Give us any advice that you have, any tips. I can't wait to take you guys on this journey journey with us and we'll see you on the next video subscribe bye as the sun's going down to end off a perfect day here in Kathmandu we wanted to remind you about a great deal that we have at the moment on the VPN that we've been using for over a year you can use a VPN in so many different ways but right now in Nepal we cannot access YouTube music but with our VPN we can switch our virtual location and boom we have access to unlimited tunes. Surfshark is the only VPN to offer one account for unlimited devices. So use our code SHEVANDEV to get 83% off plus an extra three months for free. So go check it out.